I'm out here on my first morel hunt. I definitely don't know what I'm doing, so I went and talked to a professional to find out where I need to go. Let's go hunting. Morel mushrooms are a huge topic of conversation around here this time of year. With the window of usually just one month, morels are a mushroom you want to get, and fast. But if you're new to morel hunting, where are they found and why? Because the mushroom lives in association with the tree, uh, they're often found in association with dying elms, for example. And as the elms die, the uh, morels may be, the underground parts of the morels may be uh, pillaging resources from the roots of the tree. And so as the tree further decays and dies, there's less and less carbon and other nutrients to get out of the roots. So the morels will flourish for a while and then start to decline as there's less resources available. So dying elms are a great place to start, but also cottonwoods and ash trees are a good place to look. Areas along the Missouri River or other big rivers are often very productive. Um, the floods of 1990, or of 2011, excuse me, um, killed off a lot of cottonwoods and created some pretty good morel habitats all up and down the Missouri River. Morels come in all sizes, and everyone is looking for the big boys. Morel hunting can also be quite lucrative, and they can sell for up to $60 a pound at certain times. Although morels are quite distinguishable, sometimes they can be confused with one other. The most common one that uh, morels are confused for is the false morel mushroom. Morels are hollow on the inside, the false morel is not. Um, really with any wild mushroom, you really should be absolutely certain of your ID before you eat it. Um, there's an awful lot of poisonous mushrooms out there, some that'll kill you from eating a, one bite of them. Um, those don't look a lot like morels, so you should be safe, but you really want to probably go with an experienced guide for your first couple trips. Now I am by no means experienced, so I wasn't going to eat anything I found. Regardless, with the rain we've had and the heat shaping up, this year is looking to be a very good year. We've been uh, looking ourselves and uh, I'm sure that they are ready to go. The soil temperatures are warm enough. We generally look for a soil temperature of 52 to 55 and we're there. These rains really ought to drive the populations in and it should be a good year. Well, someone that knows what they're doing will have a good year, that is. Well, after three places of looking, I didn't have any luck. For all you pros out there, better luck to you. Jeremy Lyons, Fox 26, KMPN.